Hi Pisces, welcome to your energy check-in. Let's see how you're doing. So with this, I will be um, channeling your energy, but also as opposed to only focusing on tarot and channeling around whatever is affecting you externally, that affects you externally and internally, I'll be focusing on you. So I'll be using a different deck as well. And we'll be pulling a spirit animal deck, a card. Now do check your journal of Feb reading because throughout that time there will be specific messages and guidance that come up at different times in Feb. Do check the shorts. Do also check your other placements of this reading and the elemental sign check-in that I did seven, ten days ago. Um, probably seven days ago. I don't think it was that long. Um, maybe by the time you see this, ten days by the time. Uh, depending when you see this really so um do check do check those out and also um if this resonated let me know how it resonated let me know if you like these themes of readings i'd also check the astrology of this week as well because it might help you understand um certain days where you're feeling different or you felt an energy shift especially if you're empaths and that's why i i I upload those videos and I do it in the form that, for example, it won't be that, okay, Mars is no longer retrograde, everything is go, go, go. No. Some of us are going to feel go, 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 but some of us are not going to be in that alignment. And so I provide insights that you might feel this way, you might feel this way, but if also you're feeling this way, honor that because of these, these reader, uh, reasons. And I gave an exact example in this update where Sunday and Monday I felt something and I looked at the astrology and though there's nothing major moving this this month until we go into your season at, on the 18th and then the 20th there was some sort of shift and so I go into that detail so do check the different videos out I'm also being called to tell you to check the video I did in terms of angel signs themes numbers how to connect to your angels, how to connect to past loved ones, multiple signs there that you can learn and integrate in your life. So do check that out because the, it seems like I might get signs in this reading to give you. And so just check on that. Now, uh, before we start, I was getting coffee. So some of you might be drinking coffee or going out for a coffee. Um, I felt like the, you might be feeling someone's copying you or wants to be like you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. The sun is your first card. So, and I was also feeling major goddess energy, whether you're a male or female, just honoring your divinity is coming through. Um, and the sun has just come through. Now, you could have Leo placements, and if you do, you can check that reading out. But there's clarity here. The sun is shining through for you. We're heading into your season, which then wraps up and we go into the rebirth of, of Aries season. Um, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is really where you're focusing on your work, your craft, um, you're honoring your skills here. You're really working hard at trying to achieve something. And... Um, wheel of fortune the cycle will come through for you these are beautiful cards beautiful pisces so the cycle is closing um, and a new cycle will begin but this is telling you that with the eight of wands and the sun card that should you be feeling you're only putting work in the sun is coming through to shine and so is this wheel of fortune which is telling you the universe owes you your return that's just beautiful. So um, be patient right now. Don't overthink things. Um, and don't make a major change of direction, okay? Um, thinking things are not going to change or permanent major direction of de decisions based off temporary emotions. That's what I'm trying to say. If you've been feeling also that you know you're working hard and you're alone and you haven't been voicing how you feel 
I don't know why I'm getting that one second. Let me just clarify. High Priestess. Page of Cups. And you're feeling that you've not been expressing how you feel with this Page of Cups. It's I feel like it's someone who maybe if you have been holding back, you are going through um, a bit of an emotional... Uh, you've got some emotions you need to let out, but I'd be wary on how you let them out. So no tension. You know when there's a kid and it's kind of like uh, tantrums, um, and if you've not been voicing how you how you feel, it's time to speak up before they speak up. Page of Wands. With this, what I what I'm seeing is that the highest priestess is really divinity. I said about the divinity that I've been feeling, and I'll go into that. With the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. There is possibly love coming towards you with the Page of Cups. We'll dive into that. With the Page of Wands, you also have brilliant ideas tying into whatever you're working on. And maybe this also relates to where you need to speak up and set boundaries and protect your energy with the High Priestess coming up. Okay. And I think with this, there's an element of nostalgia here learning from the past but being here right now with the moon card it's extremely strong i'm feeling your energy here so your intuition is speaking to you your dreams are speaking to you um your unconscious mind is speaking to you and to gain the clarity of the sun where you sometimes feel you're clear but then you're a bit mold you know clouded you need to trust your own instincts and um don't seek others approvals with this or what you know sometimes we're like i need to ask someone else because they know better than me or what they say is is correct um don't don't do that don't look for others guidance go into yourself um and also there's some because there's something that you're not seeing um you should be proud of the person that you've become the tower so with growth which can be scary don't let your scars remind you of the pain you've endured let it be proof that you can survive anything and you've earned all your stripes and i am getting again leo in this so i would look at leo's reading even if you don't have leo in your chart there's something there about it now with the tower card i think it's telling you don't settle dream big there's more for you set boundaries as well i feel with this i feel there's an element that you need to set some boundaries that's definitely going to learn from you but i think it's what you've learned and where you're moving towards but don't slip back um, because clarity is here for you there's a magical transformation here for you and like i said i'm really feeling um, the goddess or divine energy and you're moving away so we got the tower card and we got the six of cups i think the tower has happened uh, six of swords and you're moving away you're so done with this but I wonder, are you moving away with some form of baggage? That's going to resonate to some of you. Um, but there is a major rebirth and growth in the next evolution of yourself here. With this moon cycle, the moon, uh, the sun, the moon, the high priestess, the page of wands, the page of cups. And you moving away past the tower card. The world here, the world of fortune is your oyster. And it's time, Knight of Wands, something hot and passionate is coming towards you. It could be around your creativity. I said about a breakthrough. It could be love. You're calling in your manifestations um, and you're calling in new aligned stuff. Lean into that divinity, the goddess energy that you're honoring. If you're a male, you're godlike energy the you the power of the universe that holds within you into your power into your inner creatics if you're navigating crossroads right now 
um, uh, know that your bravery is going to be rewarded and unseen in the unseen realms. You remember I said about this and I said with these cards, the universe is going to be paying you back. That's exactly what it is. And I've got the King of Pentacles. So some of you looking for love, this could really be someone coming in who is quite stable for you. Um, you might also decide to consult either a, um, a financial advisor or a pro professional. I don't know why I'm getting that. But it might be around the moon or some sort of advice that you need that you're not seeing clear on. If you need to, go ahead. I've pulled the Ten of Swords out. So some of you have really been in something that's really burdened you and really been heavy on you has come to a completion. Now we have the Tower card. We've got the Ten, a completion of this heavy cycle that is healing. And like I said, there's a rebirth here. I do want to pull a couple of cards on the High Priestess and the Moon, although I know what it is and I've mess, uh, mentioned it. Um, I do think you, um, I do think there's, I'm feeling there's a message, a further message that I want to give you. And I think it might be because the Moon, although I'm channeling for you, the moon can say it's hiding it and the universe will give you your dues or whatever you need via yourself. Once you trust yourself. I do think though you also need some extra sleep here. Some of you might not have been sleeping well. Um, the queen of cups, pull back into yourself and be careful with selfish people. I feel like that is, that is really... Um, that is coming through like i said the knight of wands page of wands and page of cups answers are coming to you um seven of cups i feel like someone's curious about you with this i also feel like with the moon and the high priestess whatever you're wishing for make sure that it's not sort of um what's the word i want to say it's not like it's not like fluffy. Um, I know you're not going to get that, but it's not like in the, it's it's like a bit superficial. Like you're wishing for something, it might come to fruition, but it's not on the three D world. You need to be careful what you're wishing for, because if it comes to the three D world, it might not be what you want. That's what I'm getting with that. But I just want to get there's a there's a word around it that I want to use. And let's see if they've got it in here, if they've got it. Superfluous short-term things. So be careful for those wishes. Um, let's clarify if we've got any, is there anything more we can tell Pisces or Pisces placements? around the moon and, moon and high priestess. Anything that can be further than what I've already mentioned. Strategy. Solar plexus chakra. Interesting, you've got a number three and you've got a number nine here. And when I add those up, they come to a three as well. So three is significant for you, it's a significant sign um i actually want to strategy is i know what strategy with the solar plexus is about but i just want to check something about it So yeah, the affirmation is I plan necessary steps to achieve my goals. I'm willing to take action in that direction. I'm flexible, persistent and prepared. Remember how I said be patient. Don't change any permanent direction or decisions right now because there's something coming towards you. Um, and I really think with the solar plexus and the strategy card, it's telling you to um, 
really focus on where you want to be and that is the action that you'll be taking and the plan is the strategy is that plan of where you really want to go the action and the road ahead that you want um to get clear on um the insights and what you're not seeing so the pen and paper here i think is going to help you as well as really being with yourself pen and paper you're using your subconscious mind as well taking time out as you do that no rushing around it so that's what you some of you need to do now what i want to do is look at how you're doing internal and external well-being let's see if we can get any cards for you pisces or pisces placements for their highest good some guidance So there is some soul solar plexus and instinct crown chakra um so it's really about following also your gut really trusting yourself and i think i mentioned this um don't seek other people's opinions and it's interesting this instinct you know wolves are lone wolves but they're not lonely they know where they need to head and they take their direction like we said plan um, set the road where you need to go impatience i'm going to pull this up but i believe it relates to the throat chakra and where i said about um, patience needed joy solar plexus chakra make time for things that bring you joy as well and bring you happiness that is going to be important did i mention something around that No. So that is important now. When I said, did I mention something around that? I want to see if I, I channeled before starting a reading around that. But that's what I'm getting with that card. Let's look at impatience for a moment. yeah success through patience can you remember the eight of wands where i mentioned and the wheel of fortune don't don't stop now and i also mentioned be patient don't make major permanent decisions or life alterations this is telling you um you may be exhausted of your efforts but there's success through patience and I wonder with this, if any of you are having any scarcity in thinking, if you are, make time um, for joy, inviting joy and happiness in. Maybe this breakaway and unconscious solo time with the High Priestess and Moon card is about taking a break and connecting to yourself. Um, I do think that is needed. But there's, there is definitely a revelation and success coming from for you. There's an there's a um, unfolding I, is the word I, I feel is needed for this. There's an unfolding. Now, let's just confirm that the instinct card I was getting is actually to do with your crown chakra. And uh, like I said, follow your gut and also about the wolf on here knows where it's going. And interesting, it has the moon. So the moon is going to be significant for you. And the next moon cycle is in your sign. It's a new moon in your sign. The full moon will be in, is it Virgo? I think it's Virgo. So they will both be significant to you. Um, led by so the instinct card led by your spirit follow your instinct so and then it is crown chakra so you know and I, what's interesting there's all this white and it's a white wolf so you're guided by the white light light 
and you're guided by yourself, the whiteness here as well. This is beautiful. So you've got your crown, your throat and your solar plexus. That's really important for you. Let's pull you a spirit animal. And remember, number three is your sign. Uh, like I said, check the angel video out. But number three is your sign. Um, in that video, the angel signs, numbers, themes and different. This, I covered multiple ways of understanding it, different meanings. There is a number three in that so that you could check what that means and also put if three is one of your divine numbers, maybe you ask your angels or your spirit guides, maybe you already have something connected to three, but three is going to be a sign for you that things are coming through. Oh, lovely. But it really, really, really where I channel patience and the card said it, her heron, patience. So create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you the rewards. So connect to, to nature and be renewed. Find your balance. Connect to yourself. Be patient. Find for joy. Step confidently towards your purpose. Patience brings the rewards and success. How beautiful is that? I'm also magnetized on the colors of this. So a heron is going to be significant for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Pisces. If you resonated with this, I'd love for you to give it a like, a subscribe to the channel um, and help support the channel and the work I do. And I'll see you in your next reading. Take care of yourself and have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Bye for now.